99 won the whale. Jim Free and you in the free zone, joined in the studio by one of the Harlem Globetrotters, Buckets Blakes. Hey. Bucket, welcome back, man. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You were here uh, a couple of years back. You were actually doing the uh, radio tours, and I, I met you when I was. Y- yes, yes, I was. Else. You know, I, I think uh, around that time I had to show up here on a snowmobile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, now the streets are clear, so that's cool. There you go. But, uh, it's, uh, it's a little cold, though. <laughs> no, it's freezing. It's freezing, it. but uh, you can you can walk down the sidewalk now. <laughs> no, I'm happy to be back here. We can't wait to play February 8th yep. um, at, uh, at uh, Broome County Memorial. Um, our 20,000, uh, 20, 2018 <laughs> Amazing Feats of Basketball World Tour. We set 17 Guinness World Records. Really? The most recent. Um, was one of my uh, teammates, uh, uh, Corey Thunderlaw. So Corey has the highest shot made from the ground up. So 50 feet up, he made a shot Whoa. from the ground, which is – I mean, Corey, if you see him, he looks like, you know, he should be a, a NFL tight end. Yeah. <laughs> but he's a basketball player, <laughs> phenomenal athlete. And then um, myself, I, I'm in the Guinness Book of World Records for the most underhand half-court shots made in a minute. I uh, made really? six in 46 seconds. To be politically incorrect, the granny shot. Shout out to the grannies. They come to the game, too. Um, and also, I have the highest shot ever made in North America, 583 feet and 8 inches off the Tower of the Americas in San Antonio, Texas. I read that. And we have the the longest hook shot made inside of an arena, the longest blindfolded hook shot, the longest shot inside of an arena, the longest granny shot, the furthest shot inside of an arena, the longest spin on the nose, the most dunks in one minute, the most NBA three-pointers made by a tandem using one basketball in one minute, the most NBA three-pointers made by one person using one basketball in one minute. So lots of records. Some of those will be taken at the Broome County uh, Memorial, so we can't wait. Well, now it's called the Floyd L. Mains. It's called the what? Floyd L. Mains Veterans Memorial. It changed since Floyd L. Mains Veteran Memorial. Okay, yeah. I'm going to make sure I say that. <laughs> You're good, though. Uh, that was incredible that you rattled all that off. Uh, no, I don't. It was all off the top of your head. Have, you have yeah. nothing on no, you. No, I have don't a have a piece of paper. Yeah, I got a hat and a basketball. Yeah, this is for the snow. <laughs> 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 no, but it was. Uh, it's awesome, you know, to be part of a team where you get a chance to you know, not only have fun on the basketball court, make people laugh and smile, but also we we're talking off air, get the opportunity to go visit schools and hospitals and have mm-hmm. a positive influence on, on the kids. Um, hospital visits are my favorite because those kids, sometimes they're too ill to be at the schools mm-hmm. or even come to our games. Yeah. So we make it a point to go visit them, and that program is called the Smile Patrol. And I've been pretty successful. Our whole goal is to get the kids smiling. You know, Some of those kids have spent weeks and months in there, and mm-hmm. they haven't cracked a smile. You know, and uh, you know, I come in there, and the uniform gets their attention right away. Yep. And then all of a sudden, I just speak to them, you know, kind of break the ice. And then if they've never seen the Globe Trials before, and it's my favorite because I can go nuts with the basketball, and I'm the first Globe Trial experience they got. Mm-hmm. So they think my tricks are better than everybody's on the team, which I think <laughs> I think so too. But <laughs> they they get to see it first. <laughs> Buckets Blake's from the Harlem Globe Uh originally from uh, Phoenix, Arizona, 16 years now. Doing yeah, it's my 16th Harlem season. Been to 83 countries um i just did that um towards the end of uh last year hit hit my 83rd country uh, i went to uh mozambique mm-hmm. so um i did lithuania and estonia before that and then uh then through germany back home then i took off to mozambique um with uh world vision who's one of our um uh world vision canada who's a, a partner of ours and we went and uh helped uh you know some of these impoverished communities um with uh clean water and you know, talked about health and, you know, we just went into, they're called ADPs, Area Development Programs, mm-hmm. um, in which World Vision stays for 15 years until that place becomes self-sustaining. So to see that firsthand and what they actually do, you know, it's pretty awesome um, to know, like, if you do donate to World Vision, that they're actually staying there for 15 years and they're they don't come in and drop off food and supplies and leave Mm -hmm. they have they find the community leaders and then they'll have a representative from their organization stick around and run that adp for a little while until they figure out how to run it Mm -hmm. and a little while is 15 years they could stay up to 18 years until they become self-sufficient it's pretty awesome so i got a chance to do that and you know the uh, u.s state department coined the harlem globetrotters um, the ambassadors of goodwill in the mm-hmm. early 60s because of um, what we were doing in the 50s traveling outside the United States um, and making relationships amongst the United States and uh, other countries better. So um, 
I love it, man. Um, after 16 years, still getting a chance to uh, run up and down the court. I'm still healthy and strong, but also having a positive impact, you know, around the world, not just here in the United States, because the world's a lot smaller than people think it is. When you're a kid, you think the world is just so huge, but mm-hmm. we're all more the same than we are different, and I think kids need to know that. Yeah, absolutely. And I'll tell you, that's a, the Harlem Globetrotters, when I was giving away tickets uh, all week, all I have to say is Harlem Globetrotters, and they put a smile on my face. I think yeah. back to when I was a kid, <laughs> you know, watching them on ABC, Why World of Sports, that yes. was awesome. And then uh, finally getting to see you guys live here in Binghamton, you know, how many years ago, and seeing it a bunch of times. It's just a lot of the tricks are the same. A lot of the, the moves are the same. And there's a lot of new stuff, too. But it's it doesn't matter what age you are. You could be two or you could be 102. Yes. And it, not only is it great basketball, because you guys, you know, like there's a lot of clowning around and stuff. Oh, for sure. Yes. There's some real basketball being played, too. And you guys Definitely. are great at that as well. But it's just so funny that you don't even have to be a basketball fan. Exactly. To sit there and enjoy the Harlem Globetrotters. And it's usually everyone's first introduction to the game of basketball. Mm -hmm. So it's a kind of a Kickstarter for kids. You know, the parents and the grandparents and aunts and uncles have told them stories about uh, Goose Tatum and Meadowlark Lemon and Geese Osby and Curly Neal and and Sweet Lou Dunbar, who's my coach, actually. Um, And these kids are sitting there, and they're waiting to be wild, you know. They're Mm -hmm. bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, and, you know, and it could be your 30th game in a row, and you wake up, you know, that morning, like, oh, man, where am I going to get the energy? I'm, you know, 30 mm-hmm. games in a row. Then you run out there, and then you see that one kid, and he's like, he's heard all the stories. Mm-hmm. And you look at him, and then all of a sudden, you know, you take your long shot, and you drain it, and you go over there and give him a high five. Now you got enough energy for 30 more games. Yeah. And that's usually how it works for us. It's pretty awesome. All right, we feed off of our crowd. There you go. All right. Uh, it's uh, Buckets Blake from the Harlem Globetrotters, and uh, you're in town uh, Thursday, February 8th is the game at the yes. Floyd L. Means Veterans Memorial Arena. I know you have other places Floyd to go. Floyd L. Means Veterans Memorial Arena. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's those corporate name deals, yeah, you know. I know but, right? uh, yeah. Uh, trust me, I don't know how many people still call it the Broom County Arena, so, you know, you're fine. But, uh, you know, have fun at the uh, the the schools and the hospitals, and uh, thanks for coming in. Uh, are you the one that's going to be at uh, is, uh, Burger Mondays? Yes, that's, that's me. tonight, right? Yeah, Burger Mondays. Okay. I think it's from 5 to 6. Yep. Yeah. So I, I got uh, autograph pads that I bought. So if you guys show up, I'm signing autographs. I'm taking pictures. Very cool. um, it's cold, so I'm 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 taking hugs too. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Buckets Blakes, thanks for coming in, man. Good seeing no you. No problem. Guys. Thanks for having me. All right.